So I'm restarting this meeting because Google Meets sucks. I shouldn't have said that. I just said that to Google. No, Google, can. Google has a picture of my house. And Google can hear me talking about them. And literally, I don't care, Google. You're ruining society, Google. Google is ruining society. All right, here we go. I'm graphing this. You guys are on it. If you have a question, go ahead and say it. But hey, homies, what's my H and K? Four negative one. Uh, so let's do the table. X, F of X. I got one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many I'm put, but I want to put four in the middle. And three less. Three, two, one, and three more. Five, six, seven. Okay, so now I have to calculate it. Ooh. Or should we are there any easier numbers we could put? Let me think. I guess not. Oh. It's gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be disgusting. All right. Well, let's do it. Yeah. One over one minus four minus one, which is negative one third minus three over three. I skipped a couple steps there. Was that too many? Down. Tell your neighbor what I just did. So we get yes, negative four thirds. I'll do the next one, see if you can figure it out. Negative four over three. So I'm going to go one over uh, two minus four minus one. One over negative or negative one half minus two over two. Oh. Negative three halves. Negative one and a half. Uh, negative one and a third. Where are you lost at? Who's lost? What part are you lost at, though? You just don't even want to try? What? You don't like fractions? Does anyone need to really explain how I got this? Yes. No. Oh. Hang on, Kevin. I'm talking to Kevin. Okay, Kevin, do you understand why I plugged in two here, right? Yeah. Okay. You know that two minus two is negative two? You know when we need fractions, we need a common denominator? So one becomes two over two. I don't know if that look was I get it or I don't get it. <laughs> Both? Kevin, now it's negative one half minus negative two. You subtract the top. Negative one minus negative minus two is negative three. No? Are you just saying that? Okay. Let's do the next one. I feel like I should change these into uh, mixed numbers. So this will be negative one and one third this will be negative one and one half so it's getting big. okay so uh three one over three minus four minus one which is one over negative one minus one which would be negative two Right? Negative one minus one. Is that too fast? Go for it. Don't say it's don't lie. Do you think it's too fast? Let me erase these here now. I gotta erase. Oh, I hate this thing. Get out of here. And 
son's complaining a lot, but I have a rough life. Bro, you have the best life. I, I, can I be honest? I have the best life. Wow. I have the best job. <laughs> Even though I hate my job, I have the best what? job. How do you get you done? He has that on recording. Did I hate my job? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, oh, don't because it, it what it does is says, "Are you still here?" And then if I don't click yes, it shuts me off. So I'm setting my watch. I forget because I'm teaching. It's all of a sudden stops recording. Do you guys get the other point? I, did, I made it as big as it can go. See, this is one of the reasons why I hate my job are things like this. Technology. But I honestly have the best job. I have the best job for myself. Wow. Right? You guys would probably think it'd be horrible being a teacher. But uh, we get paid pretty good. Not enough. I get paid enough. Huh? Well, that's why. I know. Well, everyone has their their limits. Uh, this is one minus one, which is zero. Am I right there? And then I go one over six minus four minus one. This is one half. Minus two over two, right? Uh, which seems weird to me. That's negative one half. It seems wrong to me. Well, we'll see. One over seven my Google. Seven minus four minus one. One third minus three over three, which is negative two thirds. Hopefully that's right. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's do our thing. Uh, H and K. One, two, three, four, negative one. Da, 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 da. And I go da, 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 da. Are we good? Questions? Feel free to ask questions, guys. I know you guys are scared to ask me questions because I am very impatient and intimidating zero negative one and one third so i go negative one and one third so i'm going to go here wait did i do that right yeah one and i go one two and negative one half one two negative one and a half and i go there negative google negative one, two, three, negative two, and hug and go. Okay, uh, five, zero. One, two, three, four, five, zero. And then uh, six and negative a half. Six and negative a half. And then I know seven and negative two thirds, which is closer. And so then you hug it. You got it. Boom, 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 boom. Domain. All real hashtags except X cannot be Corazon. Google has been shut off. Why, why is it now? I'm like staring at it. I just want to do that. Oh my gosh. Range. All real hashtags except y cannot be negative one how are you doing on time 50 minutes hey as soon as you guys come in i'm slapping the test on you you know what i mean this is going to take all period no warm up well, I mean, how many graphs have we done so far? It depends. Like, not, not every. Oh, there it is. Google, stay and call. Jeez. 
Why does it do that? Some people, some people will need all periods for this because you're graphing, right? Can I, can I move on? Ah! Sometimes you scare someone, their sneezes go away. Did it work? No. Okay, moving on. Okay, you guys remember the, uh, uh, is anyone, in, I hear people talking while I'm trying to get the review, please. Let me get through this. Okay. Uh, horizontal asymptotes, you guys remember that? M is greater than N, slanted, M is equal to N, A divided by D, M is less than N, it's the x-axis. You guys remember that? Yeah. Okay, it's all in your notes, right? You need to take a picture of something or are we good? Yeah. We've seen it like a million times? <laughs> Not a million, but you've seen it a lot. Okay. This was easier than the first one we did. Wait for that. I can't even see it. Huh? There is all... Is there a hole? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you know? Well, because it says identify the hole, but also what? You can flock up. going to keep going just for the video's sake x minus one over x plus six now we graph it the way we graph a regular rational expression once we get this except we have a hole okay but the zero is x equals one the vertical asymptote is x is not negative six right now let's do I'm going to do it over here so I have places to work with it. The hole. The hole is what? X cannot be negative 4. You guys with me there? However, I need the specific point for that hole. The hole is going to be plug in negative 4 into this equation to find the y. So I go negative 4 minus 1 over negative four plus six. So I got negative five over two. So my whole is uh, negative four and negative five over two would be negative two and a half. I just put two and a half so we can figure out where that is in the graph. Now, horizontal asymptote, what is that? Uh, it's one. Only one vertical asymptote, negative six. 
So let's go ahead and graph that function. I got here, I got a horizontal asymptote at negative six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I said. It's recorded. I got a zero. That is a vertical asymptote. I'm sorry. That is a vertical asymptote. I'm sorry I misspoke. Okay, I got a zero at one. I got a horizontal asymptote at y cannot be positive one. I got a hole at negative four, negative two and a half. Negative one, two, three, four, negative one, two, and a half. There's my hole. So let's uh, test the limits. I'm going to use this graph here to test the limits. I'll try green, so green shows up. So let's do what's the first one? Negative one, two, three, four, five, negative six. Let's do negative a million. Negative, negative. What do I got? Positive. Let's go between these two. Between negative six and one, let's do zero. I got negative, positive. What do I got? Negative. Note it. Flip flops. What do you think this is going to be if you're going to do it? And look at that asymptote there. So let's do a million, positive, positive. I got a positive. Let's go ahead and graph it. I got a positive. Hug it. Hug it. I got a negative. Make sure you cross the hole, right? Hug it. Should I do a little? That looks kind of cool. Don't have to do that. To zero. Then I got a positive. What am I going to do? You're going to hug it without touching it. We call that a COVID hug. <laughs> you remember that? Oh, I love you, but you'd be like, but you'd hold your breath and close your eyes. That's not funny. All right. Actually, I don't. I just humor myself. Should we do this one? You guys want to do this one? Okay, let's do it then. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Uh, this one's pretty. This one's pretty straightforward. It's just like the one we did before, except it's not factored. It's factored. We have thirty minutes. Woo! How many graphs have we done so far? I lost track. I've only done four. We're only halfway done with the graphs. We're only on the fourth one. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get through the whole thing, the whole review today. Because we have the test tomorrow. Do the first step I'm setting it equal to zero. You guys are probably just going for it, which is great. X plus five, uh, X minus one over uh, X plus seven and X minus six equals zero. You can't see the zero, but it's there. Uh, 
What are my zeros? Someone yelled out for me. <laughs> uh, my mom is not a zero, but okay. I feel like I'm losing you guys. You are totally. Should I uh I'm not sure what we should be doing here? Should I keep going or you guys just want to do this on your own? Should I cut the review? No. And I can do it by himself. That's true. No, I'm just hearing like feeling negative energy here, which is I don't know. I'll just keep going. Okay. Uh X cannot be negative seven or six. And uh here we go. Let's do the horizontal asymptote. Anyone know what the horizontal asymptote? I know you guys are working on your own. It's fine. Horizontal asymptote. Y cannot be one. Okay. So let's put our landmarks and then we'll test the limits. Here we go. I got my zeros at negative one, two, three, four, five. And I got positive one. And I got negative seven as my vertical asymptote. Someone saying my name? Yes. Sure. I got uh, positive six. One, two, three, four, five, six. As my other horizontal asymptote, vertical asymptote. I got, sorry, this is six. I got negative seven. And I got positive one as my horizontal asymptote. How are we doing so far? Great. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Is that okay? Yeah. If I keep going? Yeah. I know you guys are trying to work, do this delicate thing where you've got to work on it, and at the same time, i got to teach it, but we don't have a lot of time. So you guys, I think, are doing good on your own. I'm just doing this for the video's sake. I'm going to test the limits. Negative seven, I'll do negative a million. I got here. I got positive. negative, 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 negative. Four negatives is a positive. Uh, between negative seven and negative five, let's do negative six. I got negative, negative, positive, negative. Notice they flippy flop. So I got a negative. Uh, let's do zero. You guys good? Do you have a question? I got zero. Question, Kayla? You're good. Okay, I got zero. Positive, negative, positive, negative. I got two negatives. That gives me a positive. Between one and six, what should we do? Someone give me a suggestion. What do we got? Five, positive, 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 negative. I got one negative. So I got a negative. Then we'll do a million. Everything's going to be positive. So then this is going to be positive. We did all the hard part. Now it comes just filling in the blanks. We did all the work, in my opinion. You did all this work. The graphing, you did it correctly. The graphing part is easy. That's what I think. If you don't do it right, then it's kind of confusing. But I got a positive. I got a negative. Got to hit my zero. Oh, now, how far should I go? I see that asymptote there. Should I cross it or not? No. Let's not cross it. Hit the zero here. Boom. Then I got a negative. Hug it as close as you can. COVID hug. And then uh, we got a positive. And that's all you've got to do. Put it on time. 25 minutes? Jam. Eight graphing. 
four solving, one addition, one subtraction, one multiplication, one division. Okay. Hey, this is like every other one, except what's different about this one? Oh, yeah. What? It's just the x-axis. I feel like, should we move on? Let's move on to other things, and we'll come back if we have time for this one. Just by saying that? Can you just solve for the slant as an This is not a slant. This is just a, the slant would look like this. Because you can divide. If we do that, and we'll go back to the other one. If we, yeah, yeah. I think you guys can do that. It's just, just like all the others. Hey, if you're gonna divide this, what should you do to the numerator first? Uh, multiply it. Multiply it out. Then you can divide it. I keep it in both formations. Yeah, so you can do the synthetic division. So I'm gonna write it out. X squared minus 2x minus 3 over x plus 2. You can use that for your synthetic division. I'm going to, I know you guys know this, all this stuff, so I'm going to do all the zeros and the asymptotes while you guys are doing it too. So x, my zeros are 3 and negative 1. My vertical asymptote is what class? Negative 2. You guys are working, so I don't expect you to answer. My horizontal asymptote, I have to do my synthetic division. Can I fit it here? I got a negative two. I got one. Oh, maybe I should pause with that. That's what you guys needed help with. I'll fill in everything else. I'll do the stuff so you guys are ready for synthetic division. I got one, two, three. What, Mitchell, you have a question? Negative one, and then I got the x vertical asymptote negative two. Uh, can I do the slant asymptote with anyone right now, or does anyone yeah. need some time? Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, okay. I got negative two, I got one. So now to, to divide, I need this, I need this right here, right? So I got one, negative two, negative three. One, negative two, negative three. And we go one, I got negative two, I got negative four. And this doesn't really matter because we don't need the remainder. But my horizontal asymptote is y equals 1x minus 4. Slope intercept form. We just graph this like a regular slope intercept linear equation. Where my y intercept is negative 4. So I'm going to go here at 1, 2, 3, 4. And my slope is. What's my slope? One over one. one over one. So go up one over one, up one over one, and we just go like this. Depending on how it is. Oops, I feel like I'm going off that. A little off. Okay. Now remember, you guys remember how this is going to look? Yeah. Either up and above or side to side, right? So if you don't get that, you did something wrong. All right. So I'm going to do my asymptotes here. I got good and green. Let's do negative a million. Negative, negative, negative. Three negatives is a negative. So we'll talk about that. Negative two, negative one. Negative one and a half. Negative, negative, positive. So I got positive, which is flippy flops. Now, little space right there. 
let's do zero negative positive negative i got a negative and then from can ignore this from three on i got a million and all this is going to be positive Ooh, what's that going to look like well remember negative it's either going to be dot or dot and from here it's negative so it's not going to be this but it'll be here okay see that so if it was positive, it would be in the... probably on the outside, right? So now I got from here, because this, to me, me personally, this uh, slant asymptote makes it confusing, but that does not affect the negative and the positive. Let's just think about right here. I got a positive. I want to go like that. Yes. Then between here and here, I got a negative, but I got my slant asymptote, so I'll just go like that. See? And then from here on, I got a positive, and that's all you've got to do. Practice that at home. Wow. Next one. Anyone need a second on that? We got 20 minutes. I'm flipping it. We already did that one. Uh, should we do this one? Uh, I do this. Okay. What? What did you say, Kayla? You said it. There's no x intercepts. Right? It'll all be. We'll get back to this one if we need to. If we have time. What do you mean, what is this? So we talked about on senior ditch day. <laughs> what are we doing on senior ditch day? I forgot. What did we do yesterday? Uh, we were just doing. No, 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 we were just solving. We were solving. 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 Solving rational expressions. Cross multiply. <laughs> Could have used that extra 10 minutes today, I think. Uh, I'll finish it up at lunch if anyone wants to. If we need if we need to, I'll keep going at lunch if you guys want. Uh, I have to warn you, my lunch today is, should I show you? Yeah. It show smells it. really bad because I ran out of sandwich stuff, so I got a can of sardines. It's going to be gross. Make my classroom smell terrible. No, I have uh, rice cakes, sardines and rice cakes. So I put it on, nice little crunchy, healthy meal. Get those omega, omega fatty acids, right? That's what, it, what it's good about. Okay, now, what do I need in order to graph these? I need a common denom, which I just multiply this by that, that by that. What do you mean by that, Sensei? I just go x minus 2, right? Right? And then I multiply this by what? X plus 4. Right? So, what's my denominator? Right? X minus 2 times X plus 4 or X plus 4 times X minus 2. It's the same thing. So, now, in order to combine the numerators, I need to do um, the distributive property. 5 times X is 5X squared. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10X. Plus, 3 times X is 3X. 3 times 4 is 12. My final answer is I combine 5x squared, negative 10x plus 3x, negative 7x plus 12. I know I'm in the way. I try to get out of the way. When it goes low, I got uh, x minus 2 times x plus 4. And that's all you've got to do. You don't, you don't, uh, um, nope, that's it.
I don't know. I don't think you can. I don't know if you can go for it. You can. I'm leaving it at that. You can just leave it at that. That'll make me satisfied. Sure. But it's extra work. Moving on. Now we got to subtract. Give you a second to write it, but it's the same idea. Is idea a word? What? Idea? No. Just like both? Wait, is that negative? Okay. So, what do I multiply this side by? Two. What do I multiply this side by? So, denominator is 2 times x minus 1. Numerator is 10 minus parentheses x squared minus x. Notice I kept this as positive and I put the negative here so I can see what it's going to equal. You see that step? Because the negative is going to change the signs. 2. 10 minus x squared plus x over 2 times x minus 1. Now that's pretty much good enough there, but I usually like the x squared first. This is minus parentheses x squared minus x. I distributed the negative to make that negative and make that positive. That's why I put it in parentheses so you can see how the negative affects it. So this becomes, now I just like it this way, it's neater. It's not necessarily more correct. This is just as correct, but I like to see it that way. So my point is, if you leave it at the first one, it will not mark it wrong. Negative x squared plus x plus 10 divided by 2 times x minus 1. Not so bad, just make sure you practice it. How many times for each problem? Four. 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 So I would do it throughout the day because it's going to take a long time, right? And I know you guys have other classes. I apologize for this. But it is what it is. Is that what I got? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two more. All right. This is easy if you're good at factoring. If you're not good at factoring, the pain in the butt. Don't make me do a four year old girl hissy fit, right? If you go like this, Right? I do not want to see that. You can't just cross out the x squared. Do not do it. I'll give you a second to write it, then I'm going to start factoring the heck out of this thing. And then I'm going to flock up. Here we go. You guys know how to factor, so I don't need to show you how to factor. So I'm just going to factor it out in my head. This is uh, x minus 7, x plus 5. This is uh, x plus 5, x minus 1. This is uh, x plus 2, x minus 1. This is x plus 4, x plus 2. Once you get that, you just flock up. Is anyone, you guys are just working on it. I love it. Watch me flock up. Yes, you can. As long as it's above and below. Look it. X plus 2, X plus 2, flock up. Look at X minus 1, X minus 1, 
flock up. Look at x plus 5, x plus 5, flock up. What's my answer? Wow. That's all you've got to do. As long as you know how to factor. But the factoring is a pain. You've got to factor four problems from one problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I said it's not difficult. It's just the word I like to use is cumbersome. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, what's coming out in 2024? Xbox so you got an Xbox front seats, these guys. I don't know. There's other ways to do it. If you have another way to do it, it's fine. No need to do the Xbox parentheses. A quadratic formula would give you the zeros, but then you have to switch the sign, and it also give you a fraction, which might not. Da, 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 da. I mean, if you could do the quadratic formula, then okay. X. I'm starting to factor these. I'm going to factor these out. I got negative 30 over negative 13 and box. And I got parentheses. Okay. Uh, what times what equals negative 30 and adds to negative 13? I want to say negative 15 and 2. And so we have 3x squared. I'm going to fit it. I got negative 10. I got negative 15x. I got 2x. Make sure you know where you put your 3x when you factor it. So just practice that. You guys are going to have to practice this at home. So I got 3x plus 2x minus 5. I'm going to write out my first one, factor it out. I got 3x plus 2 times x minus 5 all over uh, x minus 5, x plus 3. Look at, I'm, I'm going to flip it in one step. Now I'm going to do the Xbox parentheses for this one over here. I fit it. X, I got 6 and 5, box. I got uh, 2 and 3. I got 3x squared. I got 2x. I got 3x. I got 2. So I got 3x. Make sure you never put the 3x. x, 2, and 1. Okay, I'm going to flip it. So in division, I'm going to copy, switch, and then flip. So I'm going to put the factored form on this in the denominator. 3x plus 2 times x plus 1. I flipped it. And then, uh, I'll factor this out. Then you got to flock. I'm not ready to flock it yet, though. x minus 6, x plus 1. Again, right? got the xbox parentheses a little bit of a pain but let's go to flock up 3x plus 2 3x plus 2. i got a uh, x minus 5 x minus 5. i got a uh, x plus 1 x plus 1. x minus 6 over x plus 3. wow do you want to get that already yeah, it's all a couple know. thumbs up okay you guys are jamming so you guys understand for the test tomorrow as soon as you sit down you clear your desk i'm handing you the test you come right after the bell rings or before the bell rings you're starting i'll give you six extra minutes that's one problem maybe you got to review the test for your homework how are we doing on time i have five minutes should i try that one just for the video's sake.
Okay, should I do this one real quick? Okay, graphing. Let's uh, first thing factor set equal to zero. I got uh, x plus five times x minus three equals zero. No, there are no, um, there are no zeros, but there are vertical asymptotes at negative five and three. And so I'm gonna go here at negative one, two, three, four, five. Negative five, and I go one, two, three at three. I got a vertical. Now, what is my horizontal asymptote? M is smaller than N. So, my horizontal asymptote is the x axis, where y cannot equal zero. So, we go here. Okay, now let's test our limits. Put a negative a million. Negative, negative, what do I got? Positive. Put in zero. Positive, negative, I got a negative. Put in a million. Positive, positive. Look it, they flippy flop, sensei. Oh, behave. Here we go. I got a positive. What's my negative going to look like? Upside down U. Okay, upside down U, I like it sad face and then i got a positive and that's all you got to do for that one eh. gotta factor it the ones that are factored those are a little bit easier i think the some of these are not factored some of them are the factoring just gives you an extra step did i graph all of those did i get everything oh i didn't do this one I'm just going to do it real quick. Here we go. Okay. What are, hey, class, as we do it, I don't know, what are my zeros? Negative seven. What are my asymptotes? And then my horizontal asymptote is uh, y cannot be zero, the x axis. What am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. I got negative seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got negative two, negative one, two. I go dee, 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 dee. I got positive four, one, two, three, four for my other vertical asymptote. I got the x axis for my horizontal asymptote. Looks like I'm gonna have to cross it there with that zero. And here we go, let's test the limits. Well, this is still considered an end, right? To infinity. Uh, let's see. We got negative seven, uh, negative a million. I got negative, negative, negative. I got a negative. Uh, between here and here, negative five. I got positive, negative, negative. I got a positive. I got zero. I got a positive, positive, negative. I got negative. I got a million. All positive, positive. Who's, I'm going super fast. Who's able to follow along with all this? It means you're getting it, right? We got negative. I think it's going to go like this. And then up. Boom. Have to hug the asymptote. Then uh, negative four and two. You guys are on it. Upside down, you, and then a positive. And that's all you've got to do. Okay, I'm turning off the recording so that I can. Uh... You guys. I'll get.